Hello and welcome to my channel where I share with you Oracle related information for your personal and professional development. And if you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button on this video, enable notifications so that you stay informed of when I release new content and do not forget to share this video within your network so that others may learn as well. So today we're gonna to be talking about Aura 03113 and a file on communication channel error. It is a common error that we as DBAs do get. And as Oracle DBAs, we are paid to keep the lights on always. Now, depending on a service level agreement, it is usually required that our databases, especially our production databases and highly visible databases within the lower environment are always up and running. So when you get an Aura 03113 end of file on communication channel, it is usually an emergency and has to be treated with urgency. So uh, if you don't do that very quickly, your day can go from zero to 100 miles in five seconds. So in this short video, um, I have prepared a demo for you on how you can quickly resolve this error as this is an easy error to fix. That is the good news, right? So if you have not encountered this error, uh, please, this video will be useful for you. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead to our server and get this going. On this server, I have a few databases. So looking at my Aura tab, I would be using the MO4 databases. So let's go ahead and source our environment to MO4. And I would head into SQL Plus as sysdba. My database is in an idle state. So I have to issue a startup. So um, let's wait to see what happens. Now it's mounted. Now I get the aura 03113 end of file on communication channel. Now, what does this error mean? This is usually a generic error that can mean many things. However, if you get this error, it means that there is a broken connection between some client process and some server process. And it needs you as a DBA to investigate a little further. But as good DBAs, what we typically do when we get an aura error is we head on to our alert log uh, to find out exactly what the issue is. So I would head on to where my dump desk is uh, Diag folder RDBMS MO4 MO4 the trace folder and then let's go ahead and investigate. I would call up the last fifty lines of my alert log. Till minus fifty alert. Oh, I didn't get to that folder right. So um, let's see here. Home uh, CD. I think that's where my error was. I had to CD into that location, CD into the trace, and then I would tell minus the last 50 lines of my alert log to see what's happening. And opening up the last 50 lines of my alert log, what do I see? Because on startup, of course, your database logs everything it's doing in the alert log. And there is a process uh, that tried to start, starting the archiver process it completed, and it signaled an error here that there is the db underscore recovery file underscore desk underscore size, it is at 1500 megabytes. It is now 100% used and has zero remaining bytes available. Now, why should this be a problem? Now, the flash recovery area, of course, is a location on disk where the database can create and manage several kinds of backup and recovery related files. The main types, of course, are the archive logs, you know, your database backups, uh, your flashback logs if you have flashback enabled and control file backups. Now it, do also, it does also have mirror images of your control file if you multiplex them, as well as your redo log files. Now Oracle certainly needs to write to the FRA when opening the database because the FRA contains redo log information that is necessary for instant recovery. Uh, when your database hangs because of lack of space for the flash recovery area, it is going to crash. And on startup, it needs to perform system recovery. So that is why it is not able to write to the FRA and it gives up this error that of course there is an end of file, end of channel, uh, end of communication channel uh, error. So how do we fix this? So in order to fix this, uh, we can do a few things because we understand from our error that this is related to the flash recovery area. Let me go ahead to my database 
and start up this database in a mount state. Because in a mount state, you should be able to access your metadata and make some changes. So let's go ahead and start up. Uh, let's get back into our SQL plus. It's going to be in an idle instance. Let's go ahead and start up in a mount state. I should also, you know, uh, tell my alert log here to see exactly what's going on. So currently, the database has been mounted. All right. So uh, let's do a show parameter recovery. We would see here that our recovery area is 1500 megabytes. Now, we are going to use a few SQL statements to check uh, what the usage is and you know, uh, what is holding up a flash recovery area. Um, I use two views particularly, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use the V$ recovery file, recovery underscore file underscore dest usage. That is the view I am going to use. And I have a query here where I would select this um, in a format that you can see. So select space limit, space usage, and I, then I compute, of course, a space limit minus space usage so that I can get the free, and it gives me this. So certainly my limit for my flash recovery area is 1500 megabytes, and the usage is currently at 1900, which means we are 400 past the usage. So our database is not gonna be able to open. So easy thing to fix, we can do one of two things. The easiest to do, if you don't have any constraint on resources in terms of space on your disk, is to simply just increase the allocated space for the flash recovery area. And looking at this, I see I am already at 1900. If I increase it to 2000 megabytes, it is still going to crash if my archive logs archive for just maybe a few hours, right? So let me give it a little bit more allowance. Let's alter system. Let's set this DB file recovery size destination. Let me give it up to 5,000 megabytes, right? Now, um, if you're on a rack system, you want to scope, you know, uh, um, um, the, the, you know, for all the instances. So scope both. And then, of course, the seed, you want to do um, all the instances. And this works for any of the single instance or, you know, uh, rack databases. So this has been altered. So in order to see if that has, that effect, that has taken effect, let's show parameter recovery and we are now at 50, uh, 5,000 megabytes. In order to test if this is going to help resolve our problem, then let's alter, uh, let's alter our database open because our database is in the mounted state. So let's go ahead and look at that. So uh, let's select instance name status from a V dollar instance. It's in a mounted state. So let's alter database to an open state. And then looking at the alert logs, of course, our database has been altered and it will certainly um, till minus F, the alert log. Our database is now in an open state. So uh, very quickly, this is something you can do. Um, if it is a database flash recovery area related problem, you can alter system, resize the FRA to a larger size and then open the database. If that opens up, it resolves your problem, but do not forget to go back and try to manage your backups. Look at the, you know, a retention policy, you know, cross check your backups, um, you know, delete the obsolete backups, delete expired archive logs, and certainly, you know, monitor space usage for your database. Now, if this was informative for you, please go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends so that they also can be informed. Um, I will see you in the next video and thank you very much for watching.